my brothers and sisters sharing with you from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 13 to the end of the chapter which would be verse 18 reading from the good news version the scripture says I spoke because I believed in the same spirit of faith we also speak because we believe we know that God who raised the Lord Jesus to life will also raise us up with Jesus and take us together with you into his presence. All this is for your sake. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, they will offer to the glory of God more prayers of thanksgiving. For this reason, we never become discouraged. Even though our physical being is gradually decaying, yet our spiritual being is renewed day after day. And this small and temporary trouble we suffer will bring us a tremendous and eternal glory, much greater than the trouble. For we fix our attention not on things that are seen, but on things that are unseen. What can be seen lasts only for a time, but what cannot be seen lasts forever. The word of the Lord. I want to share with you very briefly what it is to, to have the things that last forever. I want to begin with love. The love you share, the love you give, even toward a stranger. The love that you offer lasts forever. A thing that is done that is good remains forever in God's kingdom. And of course, we know that our faith will enable our lives to go on. That death is not the end. It is but the threshold of one room to another, into what we term larger life. And so I encourage you to be able to celebrate the things that last forever, the joy that comes from just being yourself, finding the things that make you tick, what in the other video I call finding your element. You know, birds in the air, fish in the sea, finding your element having eyes to see the beauty around you that speaks to you of your creator, having an opportunity to know that peace that passes understanding that comes from knowing that God is ultimately in control and that you can trust that wisdom will come to you. Even at times provision comes unexpectedly when we are all doing what we're supposed to do, which is to give generously. And so I want you to focus, my brothers and sisters, on the things that are unseen, those abstract qualities. Even as we enjoy the life we know, let us be comforted that there's so much more waiting for us. But there's no need to rush, as I like to say, to get to that other side. As we go through these turbulent and trying times, may we balance the scene, the dashboards and the illness and the economic challenges and the bad news. Can we balance that with the good news of who God is for us now, who God was for them then, and who God will be forever? Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. God bless you.